Now to the damage left over from yesterday's storm that flooded homes in certain parts of Bakersfield. Flood water surging into homes on Virginia and Lake Streets near Williams Elementary School. The water rising more than three feet in some places. 17's Marco Torres is joining us live from that neighborhood where the water, where the flooding remains and the generators are on at this hour. Marco, good evening. Good evening, Jim. So right now I am standing in the floodwaters that are still here from yesterday's storm. Now, just 20 hours ago, this floodwater used to be all the way up to my waist. That's about two to three feet high. You can actually hear the generator that's right next to me still going on. This is a pump that's been pumping the water out for throughout the entire day. Even behind me, there have been people setting up shop to get more of the water out. And I'll be honest, they've been doing a fantastic job. As you can see, it's only about a little less than a foot deep. Now, the property owner does say that he thinks the property is a total loss. So one thing, though, is that we did talk and we reached out to the city and the county specifically about who was responsible for taking care and protecting the homes for the families and the residents here in this neighborhood. The city did get back to us and they said it was the county's responsibility. But when we talked and we reached out to the county about their responsibility to protect the homes and the people who called during the storm for asking for assistance, they would not give us an answer. So right now, we're actually going to take a tour of the flooded home and actually watch your step. There's a hose right in front of you, and we have uh, the sandbags here, too, as well. These sandbags were placed by the people who rented the home. It was a business, a security business, who was renting this as their main place of shop. So they were working all day, putting up the sandbags as a barricade for the water. This was pretty much, oh, the water overcame the sandbags and completely flooded the garage that you can see, dirt water, debris everywhere. And then we even have a generator that they placed in the middle of the garage to provide electricity. This is because the electricity is completely out in the entire home. So then we're going to move on into the next section of the home through this hallway here. Now, even on the ground here moving in, the water and the mud, the debris has completely taken over. You can see it's just a little caked layer of just mud. We're going to move on to the wall, the pictures, one of them being uh, their motto, safety is our priority. Now. We even move on into the main office space. This office space has their desk and the portraits, the headshots of all the workers. The workers have been working nonstop to get their business back up and running, which has been a very a big struggle for them. And lastly, you can see the sediment line on the bottom of the wall. This shows about a foot tall. Now, I know I said it was about two to three feet outside, but this shows how much work they did to make sure that the water would not breach the home itself. Again, the property owner says and thinks that this home is a complete loss. He is in conversations with the insurance company about getting an appraisal done on the home, but he's unsure whether or not the water damage will be covered. Live from East Bakersfield, Marco Torres, 17 News. All right, Marco, thanks for that.